Oh god, that is a nice picture actually. <laughs> yeah, I, I should I should actually can you actually like s look back at the pictures that you've done in this game if you want to like keep them? That would be amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's all I can do for a giant roar. <laughs> if unless if I could go like <laughs> <laughs> it just reminded me the freaking <laughs> that freaking like don't laugh video from Markiplier the fucking yelling mice it fucking it fucking destroyed me like I I couldn't breathe from laughing and especially <clears throat> especially the one other video where there's like help sites and there's like a ton of people that can't even spell the word pregnant. <laughs> oh my god. I wonder if they do... I'm pretty sure they actually did that on purpose, but... It's pretty funny. Yeah! Woohoo! 85 meters. Holy shit. Oh, that is a nice picture. Yeah, that is a nice... That was a nice view for Godzilla. Shit. I guess I shouldn't be bothered by those jet planes. I guess they're just gonna be like a... Like a roadblock or something. <clears throat> but... According to Godzilla, nothing is a roadblock. <laughs> you can just swing on by and be like... Hello, buddies. I'm back. Boom. <laughs> nice. You're almost at level three. It's going to be a lot harder. Yep, this huge building. Fuck that. Jesus Christ. I wonder how tall those buildings are, actually, in Japan. Nice. Hey, uh, ooh. <laughs> it's not Banjo Tooie, actually. Pots and pans. It's it's uh, Godzilla. I've seen pooing mice. Ew. <laughs> oh, that's right. Cause I was talking about that one video. <laughs> the fucking video. <clears throat> and there's actually another don't laugh challenge that just came out. Yep. He's gonna raise it to level three now. Oh boy, here comes the pain train. <laughs> All aboard the pain train. Oh boy. Uh oh. You're all gonna be in attack form. Here they come. Oh yeah. Maybe if I uh, roar at them. Boom! Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, they're coming in hard. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, I got that extra bonus. Play Banjo-Tooie. Dude, I've already beaten Banjo-Tooie. I did that last week, actually. Oh, boy. Yeah, I've already beaten and completed Banjo-Tooie last week. So, uh, I'm gonna play no more of that. No more of it. I may come back to it if I ever do, like, a... F if I ever do, like, a fortune cookie myself. But... The next one on that series is, obviously, Nuts and Bolts. And I could totally get an Xbox 360 if I could. That's like $55 at ANC. And speaking of ANC... Actually, should I tell my stories? <laughs> yeah, sorry Pots and Pans, but... There will be a time where I can come back to Banjo-Tooie. But not this time. Right now it's Gojira. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah, there was like... Uh, it's like, uh, there's like notes I put down. Shit, 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 shit. And shit, shit, uh, there we go.
<laughs> oh yeah. There was like one story that I got interrupted by so much. Actually, no. I told I told the story after I finished the recording. I was like, oh my god, the Leafs actually made it to the playoffs. Holy crap. And speaking of the playoffs, they actually they're tied. They're tied 1-1 against the Washington Capitals. I'm so proud of them. I am so fucking proud of them. All right, here we go. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I'm so fucking proud of them. I've been a diehard Leafs fan for ever since I was born. And I knew we would make it back to the playoffs. Um. Oh, jeez. It's gonna come. Whoa, jeez. Um. And right now, they are tied, or I think they are 2-1. Are they? Yeah, th yeah, actually, they are 2-1 against the Washington Capitals. And they made, I kid you not, they made this meme called the, I think it's called the Dark Guy. The There was this guy that was all face painted in, like, Leafs colors, like, holding a dart or something. Or maybe it wasn't a dart. They just put it on there as a meme. But that actually went on the news just earlier today. And it was hilarious. Like, that's the first time I've ever heard in my life that CP24 actually made news about a meme. About the Leafs in the playoffs. <laughs> oh my god. That feels like when Sonic, the Sonic Twitter is making memes. They're making Sonic great again. There, there's been most good games about Sonic, but I can tell like Sonic Boom was like meh. Sonic 06 was meh, but it's pretty. It's a pretty broken masterpiece. Uh, Shadow the Hedgehog was meh, and so was some other ones like Sonic Shuffle. Um, but yeah, they made news about that. I was like, hold. I was at a pizza pizza as well, and I saw the news. I was like, what? Excuse me? Um, ooh. Depressing Pokemon episode. Um, yeah. It was just like not too long. It was just like a f couple weeks ago, like. Yeah, it was a couple weeks ago that, like. They, um. What about humanity's last hope? Yeah, he's gotten bigger than before. Um, there was an episode that came out in Pokemon. Wait, to be continued? Oh, shit. Oh. Wait, that was it? Oh. Wait a minute. That was all? That was all for easy mode. Oh. Huh. The kaiju guide. I guess that was all for all the easy levels in fucking Godzilla. <laughs> I even got a trophy for it too. Godzilla fan. Kumanga. What is that one? Oh my god. It's a freaking spider. Oh my god. And then there's Jet Jaguar. That's like that's like freaking uh Ultraman, but for Godzilla. I guess that's how they got the idea for it. Hedera? You yeah. it's a slime monster. <laughs> a polluted monster. Yeah, there's like forty six here. Holy crap. Um I guess I can go back and do this? Yeah, I could. Alright. Or I could do the evolution mode. Yeah, I could do the evolution mode. Alright then. Oh, I can do all... I can actually do all the Godzillas here. Oh, cool. I can even do the ones that I just fought in the story mode. Oh, that is cool. Huh. It was 1964 Godzilla. 
And then there's the original Godzilla. Here, let's do this. Um, how many points do I have? Uh, let's let's see. Oh, I have eight hundred forty-five energy and cells. I need cells just by killing other kaiju's. Okay. I definitely do need these, but I need to find an adult Mothra for that one. And I definitely don't need the figures, but I do need the charge. Yeah. Uh, um, I actually want to do a King Ghidorah. There we go. That's much better. All right, let's go back to um, let's go back to the story mode. And do the slightly lower levels. Unless, yeah, I can't go. All right. Start from stage one again. But instead, I think I'm much bigger than I was before. <laughs> Ugh. I'll have to see, actually. Unless... Unless it's... Unless it starts me back to the small size. If that actually happens, then I'll be depressed. Yeah, let's see. Aw, oh, man. I start small again. What? That is totally not fair. I was like fucking 87 meters. Aw, oh, man. I guess I have to do more difficulty this time. Alright. And let's... Oh, boy. Yeah, and I guess I have to do the freaking data collecting once again. Alright. Let's do this story again. But this time we'll go for harder difficulty. But yeah, the most depressed... Probably one of the most depressing Pokemon episodes of all time. Like, not like... Jesus. Not like bad depressing, but like actually sad depressing. Like... The episode was like, it was it was in the sun and moon. It it uh, the episode came out like, not too long ago. But like, the episode was like, there was this litten. All right, here we go. Boom. There was like this litten that lived with this Stoutland in like an underground bridge, and. Uh, oh, excuse me. And the Stoutland was sick, and they had to find ways to actually, like, find a way to save the Stoutland, but unfortunately, the Stoutland is not going to make it. It's already sad enough, but as it went on, like, I think it was around, or no. How should I put it, like? When when the Linton came back to the bridge, the Stoutland was gone, like... And the Linton just stood there, like, all sad, and it, it, like, cried and everything. And there was Ash and, like, uh, the Rotom decks and, like, um, Professor Kukui and Pikachu. They, they were all holding umbrellas. Oh my god. It was so... F it was so fucking depressing. Like a Pokemon fucking died in that episode. The Stoutland that was taking care of Linton actually died. And... Oh jeez. And like... Boom. And when the rain cleared up, there was like a rainbow. And then it had like a cloud that formed the Stoutland. I was like, oh my god, that's so fucking amazing. And then, for some random reason, like, oh, actually, 
It would make sense, actually, because the the place that Linton and Stoutland were, like, living in were actually their home. And now that the Stoutland is gone, like, how is Linton supposed to... How is the young Linton supposed to take care of itself? And that's why As, uh, Ash asked Linton to come with him on the journey. And now, obviously, he's got the other two starters. Lana has the Poplio. So obviously he was gonna get at least more than one starter. Of course. And obviously the bird Pokemon too. Wait, no, 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 actually he got the rock rough that Kukui gave him. And uh, didn't he get a piggy pack one time? He, he has Rowlet, Litten, and rock rough. As well as Pikachu. So I guess that makes four. He should get um Ah oh, fuck. There's a lot of there's a lot of Pokemon that I can hardly remember. It's like it's been it's been a while since I last played Sun and Moon, but But um freaking There was like not a lot of Pokemon that came like that came out for Sun and Moon, which is depressing. Beer, nice. That's a good picture, actually. Ooh, yeah. And I can't even do like a like a back dodge or or anything. I could just get myself hurt. But yeah, that was like one of the most depressing Pokemon episodes of all time. And I'd have to guess that it's probably one of the most famous now. Oh, I'm gonna get hit! No! <laughs> Alright. Boom! Alright. So yeah, this next story was uh, Mars Shadow. Another Pokemon story, like... Uh, the, one, the new trailer came out for the 20th Pokemon movie, the Pokemon I Choose You. And I want to go into theory on that actually, because in in the trailer it it just showed like a reminiscence of the first episode of Pokemon, like the original anime Pokemon, and then it showed like Ho Oh, and it gave it a rainbow wing. But then there was these like two other characters that had a Piplup and an Incineroar. And then there was Marshadow, like the mythical Pokemon. That's like a, that's like a little black marshmallow, Pokemon. It sort of looks like a mix of Hoopa, and uh, I guess Bayonet. <laughs> a mix of Hoopa and Bayonet, I guess. And that was that's like the mythical Pokemon. Oh wait, did I do that one? Wait. Hold on. Oh, the picture of uh, Batra. Okay. Hmm. Well, I'm going to go back to the easy one. I'm going to go on the second line now. Okay. Whew. He. Whew. He. Ha. Um. What was I going to say? Yeah, Marsh Shadow. That's like the mythical Pokemon of Alola. And. Ho -Oh, like finally Ho -Oh is gonna have some screen time for a movie. And I think there was this other guy that was in the trailer. Which is or I think the one with the Incineroar was like the evil villain. And then there was these two other characters, the green haired guy or a, and a blue haired girl, I guess. One of them had a Piplup. And the bad guy had like an Incineroar. Why do they have to be, like, colored? I don't get it. <laughs> I, like, I get it. We need... We need the frickin', like... We need that frickin', like, representation of, like, we know what starters are like. Red, blue, and green. That's what, that's what it's always been like since the very beginning. Pokemon Red, Pokemon Blue, and Pokemon Green. Also, by the way, I'm going to destroy all these levels again just to make more growth of Godzilla. That's apparently how you do it in this story mode. 
I can't believe I have to grow Godzilla again. Or maybe that was like a new record and like if I do like uh online mode or like a uh, wave mode it will keep that height oh. that I just recently oh god that I just recently placed so it will probably stay at like 87 meters <laughs> 